Alright, here we go. This is a uh, crew management guide for Chunker. Uh, specifically for triple NGs and some advanced buff tactics. So first off, we have this, uh, the top position, the wrench buff NG. Uh, they're in charge of, uh, capturing the balloon, buffing the sub up here, and uh, shooting the top guns. Now, uh, to get down to the guns, you just, uh, jump down here. Nothing special. Uh, there's two times you'll use the stamina. Once is, uh, running up to the side top deck. You see, it's a bit tricky if you, uh, use the stamina all the way up to your, uh, jumping position up here. You can actually even fall off the ship right there. Oftentimes, you, you don't want to use your stamina all the way right there. Uh, but you do want to jump onto these ladders. That makes you go a little bit faster. So yeah, just uh, buffing up this top deck. You want to try to keep this, uh, top, de top deck buffed up. Unless you're in combat and you're winning. Um, so your, your captain really needs to watch out in, uh... And whenever you need buffs or to top off the buff balloon, I just do that. Oftentimes during your reloads, are you going to be at chemstring the balloon? Real common. You know, the only other time you might use your stamina is to run to this gun. Now, you will never, ever, ever touch the hole right here. You never have to worry about that hole. Um, with a less experienced crew and a less experienced pilot than maybe. But really, ideally, there's so much more you can do uh, on this top deck. Keeping buffs up, preparing everything. Uh, using the guns than you can on this hole since you only have a wrench you're really not useful on the hole there, the only possible situation is if you want to chem spray the hole if you're if the whole ng doesn't chem spray but really your whole ng almost always has chem spray basically don't worry about the hole as a top ng rule of thumb now second off we have the whole ng they bring a span of mallet chem spray or extinguisher with a longer reload gun and like a six second reload uh, like a Banshee, six and a half seconds, Artemis. You really want Chemstray, because every reload... Get off, tap the hole. Every single reload, guys. Uh, you see, there's uh, two ways to repair the hole. Once you, you can tap it, the other way, sand below it, and uh, rebuild it. Uh, if you need to hit it more than one time, then you gotta sand below it. It's really easy, just, uh, just sand next to it. It doesn't have to be anywhere special, you can uh, be anywhere around it. Just aim your little dot right at the, right at the hole right there. To repair the whole of the Joker, you gotta master this. And the heat of combat. Um, so, yeah, this is pretty much self-explanatory. Um, yeah, you don't want to fall off the edge right here. One trick to not fall off the edge is that get on this uh, front gun as far away as possible. Uh, that way it's, uh, it's less likely that you're gonna fall. So there's, uh, there we go. And the only time you'll, uh, you lose your stamina, the main time you lose your stamina is to run down here and capture the bottom deck. Now this bottom deck is where you have the, uh, the Spanner Mount Buff Edgy. Uh, who will be, uh, when you first spawn in, the Spanner Mount Buff runs their, uh, bottom. They start buffing up their stuff, load up the guns, pre-buff them. Right, and then they start buffing up this hole. So, uh, basically, uh, yeah, they run to the, and they'll, the only time they'll use the stamina is to run to the hole. Uh, now there is a rare situation where they'll use the stamina to run up to the top deck. The only time you'll ever want the, uh, the, uh, Von Menji on the top is if you're only focused on the balloon. If you're getting lumbered down, and the only thing that's keeping you alive is not hitting the ground. So you want to keep, you just want to keep this balloon up. You got two buff engines working, and as soon as it's, as soon as it's rebuilt, they start buffing it together. Your pilot's using their hydro. The pilot's rebuilding it too, so you got three people and two wrenches and a spanner mallet repairing this balloon at the same time and two buff hammers. Uh, that will keep you alive for quite a while. And yeah, the main engine at this time can uh, keep the hole repaired by themselves and repair the main engine by themselves. But that's a pretty rare situation most of the time. May, uh, the uh, spin buff, buff doesn't leave the uh, bottom position except to repair and buff the hole. Uh, to rebuild the hole. Yeah, so whenever the hole goes down, if, unless you're out of com, uh, out of uh, arcs, the other guy can't shoot you, but normally, uh, whenever the hole goes down, I'll be building. Uh, rule of thumb. Because at that point, your pilot's gonna try to avoid it as much fire as they can because you're in shocker, you cannot get hit too much. If you get hit in the hole, you're gonna start dying pretty fast. But it's alright, you got a ton of armor. And with a buffed armor, you have more armor than a galley. Much more, more armor than a galley. But, we pretty much uh, handled everything. Uh, what, the only other time you might use the, uh, the Spanner Mallet, the Spanner Mallet Chem on the front might leave their position is to, uh, go up to this top deck in a very specific circumstance. Basically, 
if the pilot has maneuvered you out of harm, and you have a, and the right side cannot use a trifecta, and this right side for this Junker can have a trifecta. We got a Gat, a Flamethrower, and a Banshee. Since the Banshee and the Flamethrower have 60 degree arcs, and the Gat has 50 degree arcs, we can get a trifecta here. But let's say you have a Gat and a Mortar. With the Mortar, you can't quite get a trifecta. So, uh, I, more than a mortar, I call my, uh, spam him up, uh, chem to the front, or, well, I, with the mortar, I actually have a, uh, an extinguisher because we have mines on the left side, but that's a different story. That's besides the point. I call up the, uh, the main engine, unless we are taking armor damage, I call up the main engine to repair this top deck. Why? Because we're gonna be burning your engines full time, we're burning your engines, we're burning our balloon, we're doing everything we can to keep this gap mortar on the, uh, other guy. And we're, we're just uh, burning them and keeping everything repaired up here. Uh, so, or you can have the main engine shoot the mortar and have the wrench buff buff everything up there. If if the stuff isn't buffed, then you have the wrench buff up there. If if the stuff is buffed, then you have the wrench buff buffing the mortar and the uh, the span of mallet chem or extinguisher repairing the top deck. Really, extinguisher is enough on a junkie. You just got to make sure to uh, use to repair the hole uh, during the reloads. Uh, I bring an extinguisher when there's a mine on the front. Mine has a real quick reload, so uh, you don't have time to cam every reload. And honestly, the Junker hole is good enough. It has enough hole that you don't need to, uh... Then you can afford to take a little bit of damage. You don't want to take too much, but you can afford to, especially since if you have uh, all buffed engines, a buff balloon, then you're just so maneuverable. You, you have just so much, uh... Yeah, you have so much to work for, especially against an unbuffed ship. So yeah, I think that pretty much covers uh, crew management on a Junker. Uh, the only uh, thing left is for the pilot to call positions. Um, whenever you, whenever the uh, the top NG isn't shooting or you need repairs, you gotta call them to the top uh, to repair a buff. Um, and you gotta make sure the the expanded mount ha buff has to watch your uh, engine uh, whenever they reload. Tap the engine, get a buff on it if, if they need to. And buff your guns when you reload. I, I can't believe I got forgot to mention this. Every single time you reload, it, reload guys, buff your guns, buff your guns. Just keep buffing them until you're ready. There we go. And buff your guns during reload. That's the most important thing if you have a buff hammer. Buff your guns during reload and use your buff hammer. So now I think that covers the uh, the junker. There's a uh, there's a lot of different setups, like with trifectas on both sides. This is a, a double trifecta junker. Oftentimes you'll only have a bifecta, and uh, the, the setups are a bit different for them, but it's it basically works all the same. So I think we got everything covered. So uh, enjoy and have fun.